guys can go ahead with any questions. Coach, starting out the game on a, I think it was like 37 to 8, um, breaking out that lead right away, what was your team doing well to be able to jump out to such a big lead to start? Well, I thought we did a great job defensively. You know, we, we really were making them work for everything they were getting. Offensively, we were staying within our game plan. Uh, you know, we knew that they that they were going to really press and trap, and that, that that's what they do, and they're, they're very good at it. Uh, our goal was if we were going to turn the ball over, it needed to be a dead ball turnover. We needed to throw it out of bounds. It needed to be a five-second count. You couldn't allow our turnovers to lead to their points. And for about six, about uh, 17 minutes, I thought we, we did a really good job of that. And then all of a sudden, the last three, we started to try to go for the knockout punch and start shooting a, bu- a bunch of threes instead of just sticking with what was working for us. And that was attacking off the press, trying to get to the paint, jump stop, and finding your open teammates. And unfortunately, we got away from that. And then the next thing you know, you know, I I think they scored, what, 12 of the last uh, 14 points uh, of the half. And it went from 29 to to 19 in a hurry. So, and, and, and we knew that. And we knew that they had the ability to do that. But unfortunately for us, we didn't stay focused for that last uh, three minutes of the first half. Coach, jumping out to that early lead, what about Syracuse's defense were you guys able to exploit? Well, we were able to attack and value the, ba- the, 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 the basketball. We attacked the score instead of just attacking the press to try to get it across half court. You know, when you play Syracuse, if you just attack to get it across half court – it, then all, all of a sudden you have 17, 18 seconds to try to score against that zone, and they're long, they're athletic, and that's not really what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep trying to attack it to score. When you say attack to score, is that just driving? So some layup. So when they're pressing, if they're, there's a trap, we, uh, we pass out of it. We have n- numbers going to the basket, and we're attacking. Mm-hmm. Instead of just pulling it back out and, you know, waiting for everybody to come across and then set up an offense, we wanted to try to get layups out of it where we had three on two, two on one. And I thought we, we, we did a really good job of that. Between Syracuse's centers, I think the three of them combined only grabbed three defensive rebounds. Is there anything maybe you would attribute that to what your team excelled at? Well, you know, it's it's not the defensive rebounds I, I, that, that, that really concerned me. It was the uh, uh, offensive rebounds. They rebound the ball extremely well. I think they're one that they, they, they might be the top offensive rebounding team in the league. Uh, and you've got to make sure you don't give them a second chance points. And I thought we did an unbelievable job of that tonight. Um, we shot it well from the field. So there weren't a bunch of them to get. But then we also did a really nice job of getting, them, getting some back. Um, you know, we missed 30 shots, 27 of uh, 57 from the field, and we come up with 14 uh, offensive rebounds. So if you're getting ha- a, ha- a half of them back, you know, that is really putting some, some pressure on them. From a coaching's perspective, you look up at the scoreboard, you're up by 29. What are your kind of thoughts? I mean, are you almost taken aback a little no, bit? No. Well, yes. I mean, we're, you know, I definitely did not expect that, you know. But you're up 29 with 2.40 to go, and then you come into halftime and you're up 19. Like, I wasn't I, – I wasn't extremely confident that, that they were just going to roll over and say, hey, we're done, because we just gave them some confidence going into half. Uh, I told him I thought Syracuse's goal, I thought Q would try try to challenge his kids to, to to get it back to 10 to start the fourth period. And they had it to 12, I think, twice. And, you know, that's where we kept saying we have to keep attacking. We, we can't settle. And that's kind of what we did. And then we started making some careless passes. We turn, turned it over back-to-back times and led, led to five points for them. And that's what you can't do against Syracuse. How different was the Syracuse team you saw tonight from any of the scouting report and the video that you watched going into today's game? Well, I mean, we we were very fortunate. They missed uh, – Brianna, Brianna Butler is as good of a three-point shooter as, as, as there is in this league. And we were fortunate that she missed a few early that she had some clean looks on. But then I thought we did a really nice job of contesting the rest of them until that last one she hits go before she goes in halftime, which is often offensive rebound that we don't just go grab the ball. Um so, you know, we're fortunate they did not shoot it like they normally do. 
Uh, but, you know, their athleticism, they're aggressive. They're, the style of play, they like to get it as frantic as they can, which works extremely well for them. Obvi- obviously, we would see a season high tonight with 28 turnovers. So we have to go back and address that. And defensively, uh, how effective was your guard play as far as, you know, in the half court getting pressure on Syracuse? Well, I, I, I thought our guards did a, a, a pretty good job. Now, I thought Peterson – really started to hurt us there when she just started to go one-on-one and turn the corner. Uh, we did not do a very good job of dead-ending the ball screen and, and making her go out wide. She just came off the screen with a full he- head of steam and turned the corner on us. And that she was very effective from that end. And we're, we we got lucky. We got fortunate that, that they did not make a bunch of their free throws back-to-back. They missed the first, make the second – make the first, miss the second, you know, and those are ones where, you know, as a coach, you're like, golly, if we could just make two free throws, because we're putting them at the line with the clock stopped, mm-hmm. and that's the last thing you you, you want to do with a lead. Do you think the best part of your offense is your team's ball movement? Yeah, yeah. we uh, we passed the ball extremely well tonight. I, I thought we, we did a really nice job of finding the open player. I, obviously, you know, you've got 23 assists on 27 made field goals, so you're doing so, uh, something right with the ball. Sure, appreciate it. I think it's great that you all come out and cover it. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you all. Have a good night. You too.